Dave Palumbo here with another RX Muscle rant. Today's topic, the use of anabolic steroids to make yourself look great and the negative ramifications of fertility. There was an article put out by BBC News that basically discussed the fact that men that use anabolic steroids to enhance their appearance, supposedly for women, even though we know a lot of bodybuilders don't just do that for women, are actually hurting their fertility in the long run. Also drugs like finasteride, which block DHT, that a lot of guys use so they can grow more hair, yours truly does that, um, also seem to uh, decrease fertility. And they're saying the irony here is that guys want to look better for women, but yet they can't even reproduce. And they're talking about their fertility being greatly hampered. Now, and, and, and obviously the, the gist of the article is that it's ironic and they were kind of like almost condescendingly talking down to the fact that people would want to actually look better and by taking HRT, hormone replacement therapy, taking anabolic steroids, taking finasteride to grow, grow more hair, but yet in the long run, they're not going to be able to re -pre uh, procreate. Now, this is what I find hysterically funny. They'll write an article about this about men, but women who take birth control so they don't get pregnant, they don't have any problems saying, because let's face it, if you're taking birth control, you're not fertile, right? But when you stop the birth control, right, what happens? Now you become fertile and you can, and you can reproduce. Same thing with men who take anabolic steroids or HRT or finasteride. If you stop those substances, okay, and you take, and some people don't even need to take anything, but you take other substances that will re-stimulate your body and turn it back on, you can have kids. Case in point, 13 years I used anabolic steroids while I competed, 10 years of hormone replacement, and I got you know a third kid on the way. So to, to paint this picture of this narcissistic bodybuilder who you know uh, almost arrogantly is taking these things thinking that there's no harm and meanwhile they have been essentially neutered by science never to procreate, never to pass on their genes, is just such a tainted picture of the reality of the situation. Once again, no one mentions that women take you know, hormones, estrogen and progesterone to prevent themselves from getting pregnant, okay, until they're ready. Um, so we live in a technological society now. If we wanna take technological drugs to look a certain way, to feel a certain way, to not reproduce, to reproduce, okay, then what's wrong with that? What's wrong with looking good if it's done under the supervision of a doctor and health is being monitored? No one's saying anything about the negative ramifications of health. What they're saying is that, oh, you see all those guys that take care of themselves? Yeah, they can't even reproduce, okay? It's like a, it's like a, a, a basically a formula uh, to not take care of yourself, a formula to just, you know what, eh, I'll look like shit. At least I can have kids, right? It, it, it's always like the guys that, that don't look good. It's always the people who don't want to go to the extremes to, to push their body, that want to lay in that, what I call the lazy zone, that always find a negative ramification. That, you know what, yeah, you guys look good, but hey, you can't have kids, ha 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 ha. Well, that's just not the case, obviously. And you, I, could, I can give you a list of about a thousand bodybuilders that I've given my pregnancy protocol to <clears throat> that could attest to the fact that if you want to have kids after using anabolic steroids, you absolutely can with no negative health ramifications to the kids. You know, you just have to, once again, engage science to combat science. If you want to look a certain way and you're going to suppress your natural production of testosterone or DHT using drugs like finasteride, then you know what? You might have to go off these drugs in order to, you know, get fertile and produce kids. So this is not a sterility issue. It's not like, oh, you take steroids, you're sterile, you're fertile, you're sterile for the rest of your life because that's what I'm getting. I'm getting a lot of people emailing me, texting me, hey, I read this article. Uh, if I take anabolics, am I going to have, be able to have kids? They're scaring. They're using scare tactics again. I don't like that. I'm here to dispel any scare tactics and to tell you that you're not going to make yourself sterile, okay? It's a temporary infertility while you're on the drugs, just like a woman on birth control. And to be honest with you, a lot of people who take anabolics or hormone replacement still get their girlfriend or wife's pregnant. So it's not a, a surefire method. For most people, it does you know, render you unable to produce enough sperm or to have the motility of those sperm to get someone pregnant. But once again, moving forward, if you want to have it, you withdraw those drugs, you withdraw those substances, 
Uh, sometimes you have to take some stimulatory substances, HCG, HMG, Clomid, and the fertility comes right back. So don't be a victim of scare tactics. I hate these people that start throwing arrows and shooting bullets and saying, ah ha, ha, ha. That's not the case, guys. It's about science. If anyone wants my pregnancy protocol, if they're looking to get their wives pregnant or girlfriends pregnant, send me an email at huge285 at AWOL.com. I'm more than happy to send it to you for free. Why? Because I hate people who disperse misinformation in our society. It drives me nuts. So I am constantly battling with the forces that be to try to educate people and enlighten people and not allow people to walk around scared about everything they do in life. I'm Dave Palumbo with an RX Muscle rant.